Now that we've seen these two new core projects, let's take a look at the general enhancements that happened elsewhere in the Havana environment. There were really numerous features that were added overall throughout the projects. We can't go through all of them, but I wanted to highlight a few that I found very important and interesting. In the Horizon Dashboard environment, we saw the Neutron visualizations. This allows us to provide a graphical representation of what networks look like in a consumer's OpenStack environment. So each tenant can take a look at what networks they have available and how they're attached to their different components. We also saw the addition of self-service password change. While that sounds like something that would have been baked in out of the box, in fact, it was actually something that's only been released with the most recent version inside Havana. We saw the growth of Quantum into Neutron with Havana, and with that, extended services within the Neutron environment, including the VPN as a service and Firewall as a service options. Keystone grew as well, with other enhancements, including backend options in, which allowed us to connect to existing LDAP stores to be able to keep some information from our Keystone authorization and authentication environment. APIs were aligned across the board and we saw the deprecation of a number of different commands in the Python clients, which ensured that we followed the traditional RESTful noun verb format. We didn't go into that because it's more of a deeper technical dive and we'll talk about that in future Pluralsight courses where we get into the intermediate layers and we look at the CLI. But those Python clients use phrases like keystone tenant create. So that is noun tenant verb create. This is following that restful HTTP verb crud model. As well as these, we saw numerous enhancements in the Nova environment, in Cinder, and in Swift. We saw the addition of a lot more drivers, a lot more hypervisors that are supported, and storage layers which are supported in the Cinder environment. Swift received a number of performance and reliability enhancements as well. Again, there are many, many more things that we could take a look at. If you really want to look at the overall view, I suggest that you go to the OpenStack wiki and you can take a look at the full release notes for the Havana release. So we've made it all the way up to this point. We've taken a look at what the OpenStack telemetry service is, or Celometer. We've looked at OpenStack orchestration with the heat project. We looked at general autoscaling concepts based on Celometer and heat married together as well as the other general enhancements that are released with the Havana release. Now it's time for us to move on to our next module.